Hey guys, back with a quick little tour and review of this 2002 Ford Focus at ZTS. This does have the nice gold exterior. With uh, the dealership did paint the rocker panels down here um, black just because it's really probably the look worse with rust. So they just paint them all black, which isn't that bad. It's an old car though too, so gotta make it look somewhat decent. You have rust up here and some down here. That's just lack of maintenance. And the Michigan winter and all that stuff. Michigan weather, I suppose. You have rear drum brakes on 16-inch alloy wheels. You have a sunroof, which seems to be probably sealed. Or it still works, actually. It looks to be aftermarket, though. Front disc brakes. You have Peltrin headlights and fog lights. Now, this is the exact Focus generation that I want to get. Just a wagon on a ZTW frame. Coming in, you do have a pretty clean interior. It's tan. You have a uh, sport-oriented um, seats. They're a little thickly more bolstered. Um, I'm gonna put this back. Put this back. Um, manual backrest and uh, everything's manual. Stepping on in, you do get a really nice leather wrap steering wheel, which is it's a smaller one, but it's nice because it feels sporty in your hands. You have headlights and fog lights. Just pop that out. And uh, this one has around 140,000 miles on it, so. It's in pretty nice condition for the mileage, and I was right, this is an aftermarket sunroof. Just the way the seals and everything didn't line up properly, and the way this uh, was tucked back in there. But, nonetheless, it's a sunroof still. So, you have your really nice gauges. These are my favorite gauges for really anything. This is my favorite automobile gauges, I guess. I mean, I just have an attachment to this car, so... You, the thing about the folks is you can always push those in and the music will come out, or radio. And the uh, sound system in this is, they've always been pretty good in the focuses, so. You do have just a single zone climate control. You have this really nice real aluminum plating back here. It doesn't really go with the uh, tan though, but whatever. Four speed automatic with overdrive. I always called that the turbo button when I was little. That's because my dad had one of these and he always called it the turbo button and then I always thought we were going fast. It's just something that I thought was funny. The uh, dashboard is hard touch, surprisingly. I thought it was soft touch, but I guess it's hard. It's decently greened out, and I always liked the way the uh, interior looked in these. 12 box is not damped, it's just <coughs> plops down. It's pretty big though, and it's, it seems like you have all your um, service records and all that original stuff in there, so pretty nice. Defroster and all that, and your pedals have a nice uh, mechanical fuel them. I don't know if you can get what I'm saying, but they just feel good. Parking brake, which I don't think it even works. Um, at least you have an armrest right here, it's padded. Small, but the clips always broke on them, so whatever. Coming to the door panel, it is soft touch where it counts, and it's soft touch down here, and it goes all the way down. Even this little pocket soft touch, so it's really nice. If you can see, <laughs> uh, you know, all your power locks, windows, control mirrors, and all. I'm gonna pop the trunk also if it opens. They'll sound pretty tired, but I always like the noise they made too. Headliner is pretty plush, also. You had these vinyl uh, mirror or uh, sun deflector visors, whatever you want to call them. Uh, vanity, it's not lighted or anything, but it's pretty nice. You have all four oh shit handles, which is another nice touch. It probably sounds like I'm sugarcoating this car just because I probably am. I just like it. <laughs> Give cloth in there. Coming to the back, you do have this uh, early 2000s Ford cloth pattern. You do have dual matte pockets, which are nice, that are vinyl stitched. Um, cup holder here. I never knew what this was. I honestly don't know what it is. And coming to the rear, the door panel materials are the exact same as front. Everything is just soft touch all the way down to the bottom. Um, that's about it for the interior. Here's a quick little view of the cockpit. Oh shit, handles right there. No armrest, but legroom is decent. And it's not the best, but it's pretty good for back in the day. I can be comfortable back here for a while. You have a nice spoiler also. I don't think it'll open. Or, yes, it does. The struts need to be replaced, but you do have a pretty generous cargo area also. Spare tire is probably donut under there. Here's your creeper latch, and it's uh, lined up here. It's pretty nice. So, this is a pretty clean example of a 2002 Focus. But as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and talk to you later.